Greetings, hello and welcome back to The Elder Scrolls Online. I'm Debat and we're trying to find Hazex Hollow as part of the Moon Sugar Medical. Hello, Zulana. Hint, talk to Zulana. Have you seen Kari? He's missing. Who is Kari? Zulana's son. Okay, I found a note about a young Kajit checking to Hazex Hollow. Yes, that's Kari. Please find him. Gary. <laughs> I'll find your son. Meow. Uh -huh. is the entrance is on the beach across from Katsai Key. Okay, who is Hazak? Uh, goodbye. I'm not interested in all the rest. So I assume, okay, we're going to go there. But let's check out this mountain, mountain symbol. Just in case. Hi. You going to attack? No. And are you good, bad, indifferent? Uh -huh. And there's a red haloed thing. So you're going to be bad news. Can I get up? Hi. <laughs> Have I got my um, familiar? Yeah, possibly. Possibly not. Yep, there we go. Take it. Oh, my familiar is there. <laughs> right there. Okay. And take all gold. Okay, so enter. Hi, friend. Hazix Hollow, which is straight ahead, but we should possibly just check out um, this mountain symbol. Okay. And. Whoa, look at that jump. <laughs> uh, okay, can I search you? A sip of health? And we got everything from there, okay. Um, uh, so where... Really? That way? Mm, okay, maybe we'll just go inside. I'm going to have to take you out. And... Boom! Okay, let's go in here then, in that case. I saw the little logo earlier. Hazix Hollow discovered. See, I know what I'm doing. Okay, rescue Gary. <laughs> uh, someone. Okay, so he's over there somewhere. Okay, can we get up? Oop, what was that? Was that you? Was that me? Okay, uh, you killed that person. But meanwhile, there is Gary. Hi, Gary, how you doing? Be gone, bandit. I'm oh, not a bandit, your mother asked me to rescue you. Mother sent you? Yep. It is good she can't see. Do you mean she scouted the cave? For a poor mewling widow? Mm. Ah, mother is not entirely she warned me to wait and watch before approaching her. Okay, okay, tell me what's going on here. What's I you to avenge my father's memory. I came here to free you. Then when you free me, Alright, I'll, I'll help you kill Hazel. Okay. Good. Now I'll untie you. Mm-hmm. And I can hardly believe okay, find the I'm key. Free. Okay, presumably we get the key off one of these people. Might imagine. Are you with me? Okay. And. <laughs> Come on now. Boom. Give me your key. Ooh, I roasted him. Uh, nope. Uh, ah, there we go. Open the chest. And the key. So perfect. Okay, so we need to go in. So this is... Oop, where is everybody? This is a low-level quest, so we just need to do this and then we'll move back onto... Oh, stand back. Move on to uh, bigger and better things. Ooh, what's, what's this? Can I take you? No. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And die. You don't have the will for this. Reading. I do. Oh, that is actually Hazak. Come on. He's tough. Should we do this? Just to see what it does. 
That's my R button. That's my ultimate ability. Newly learned. I'm not sure what it's doing. There you go. Uh, I am seven. It's pretty good. Is that any good? Heavy armor. No, no good to me. All right. Return to Zulana. Hi. Zulana. Okay. Well, that's fine. All right. I shall return to Zulana. <laughs> Blue steel, and be right back with you. Open for God's sake. All right, so I think one of these people is Zulana. There we go. Talk. What are you doing? What have you done? Gary and I killed Hazek. And you have done what I could not. Mm -hmm. My husband now rests with the ancestors, yep. free of the Skuma enslaved. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Hazek was your husband. Gary killed his own father. When Hazek embraced Skuma with more affection than he did with me. I gave him every chance to claw his way back. Okay. Poison arrows to stun. Yep. I note the ardor of the moons within you and sent you to aid Kari. Gary fought well. Then Kari learns to stand with allies rather than on Who his own. are you two Ajit exactly? <laughs> we just take by force. Medium armor. I'm light armor. Can you give me some stuff that I actually want? All right. So we have completed that one. Mother could not. Uh, we've got the main story to Madison. What I knew to be right. Otherwise, the, um, the actual main story, go to you the Harbridge. Okay, maybe we should... Oh, name. shut up! Do you understand? Yes, um, the Harbridge, let's go there. Show on map. We must complete this quest train. cannot be shown on the map. Dong. Right, find the Harbridge, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it's down there. Okay, let's click on this way shrine and I'll make my way down. All right, I'll see you then. Right, so I think we're pretty close. So find the harbridge, that person there. Excuse me. <coughs> Are you? No. Ah, oh, let me have some water. Huh? I don't care to sail through corpses, but if I dock at Misra, I'm looking for passage off this where island. Do you need to where go? can you take me? I can take you to Vulkilgard. All right, take me to Vulkilgard. I mean, <laughs> what choice do I have? Loading screen. Ah, uh, MMOs. Gotta love them. It's pretty. Mm. Okay, we're back on Oridon, which I think is um. Yeah, this is where we first started. So I need to find the Harbridge, which is over there. Although quite what a harbridge is in that definition, seeing it's in a mountain, I'm not quite sure. Who knows? But we'll mosey on through. Can I get over this wall? Yep. Aha. We're close. Uh, are you level 42? Wow. Well. Okay, in. Ooh. Once the Prophet was a man of vigour and strength, some harrowing experience has aged and diminished him, leaving him blind and almost feeble. How can it be almost feeble? Alright. Talk to the Prophet. Alright. Harbridge discovered. Are there bad people in here? Ooh, it's pretty. Doesn't seem to be bad, folks. Let's just go on in. I hear familiar footfalls. Can I take anything close the message. You sound like Michael Gamble. Welcome to the Harbridge Vestige. Maybe not. This is as comfortable a home as an old dried up husk like myself could hope for. How did you find it? Despite my blindness, nay, because of it, my other senses seem to have heightened. This place had the right smell about it. When you first appeared to me in Cold Harbor, you spoke of my destiny. Indeed. But let us not get ahead of ourselves. Without an understanding of where we are bound, every it realm kind of sounds like Michael with. Gampon, you know? Before we truly understand our destination, uh, you we must speak of the past. A history lesson. Of a sort. I invite you to enter my mind and walk with me through the uh, right. past. Must I enter you your mind? Understand the events Goodbye. Enter my mind, Vestige. All right. And walk with me through the shadows of past events. Ooh. Ah. Hmm, butterflies. There he is again. Okay, follow the prophet. Follow me, Vestige, mm -hmm. and learn of the events that precipitated our current crisis. 
Are you actually Michael Gamble? Could they afford him? story began when I awoke on the steps of the Abbey of the Moth Priests, with no memory of my prior life. Right, what are we doing? The Priests took pity upon me and brought me into their fold. I was weak and near death. Right. Is this a long story? It was there I first set eyes upon the Elder Scrolls and devoted my life to their study. Ooh, is that an Elder Scroll? The scrolls allowed me to glimpse the very fabric of reality, but each profound insight dimmed my vision and eventually left me permanent it's blinded over there. to the light of the world. Can we go to it? That be no? Are we just walking past? All right. Talk. The prophecies of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid, living thing. They are not fixed. At many points throughout history, the actions of heroic mortals have rewritten them. And what does that have to do with me? I only know that you are important, Vestige. The scrolls reveal to me that your destiny is intertwined with that of the five companions. And who are the five companions? Says that the five, the five wizards. <laughs> who sought out an ancient artifact called the Amulet of Kings. Right. They hope to use this artifact to persuade Akatosh, the dragon god, to accept their leader as one of the dragonborn. Right. Dragonborn. The dragonborn are mortals destined for mm, greatness. I've heard about these people. The blood of the dragons in their veins. It is said. There only a true dragonborn could ignite the eternal. And who was this leader? Baron Aquilarius, the son of Colobian Duke, who led a rebellion against the Emperor Leovic and took the crown himself. Alas, Varon was not truly a dragonborn, as those who sit upon the ruby throne must be, in accordance with tradition. Okay. Go on, if you must. You have already heard enough. Yes, I'd say so. Alright, goodbye. Learn about the five companions. Okay, I see the arrow. How do we do this? First Titanborn, daughter of Giants, was the mightiest warrior in the is service you? of the Emperor. Yes, yeah, you. Next, Abner Thorn, a powerful sorcerer and Grand Chancellor to the Imperial Elder Council. Mm. The Red Guard Swordmaster. I think this is a long story. Sai Sahan, leader of the Imperial Dragon Guard. Right. The Imperial Emperor, Baron Aquilarius, who attempted to light the dragon fires and failed. And finally, Manamarco, the mm. traitor, mm. king of worms, mm -hmm. a powerful necromancer, and your executioner. Oh. Okay, talk to the prophet. These were the five companions so they all look. who set out from the Imperial City on How could the Amulet of Kings turn Varen into one of the dragons? Marco convinced Varen that the amulet could be used to perform a ritual that would rekindle the dragon fires. He claimed this would please Akatosh and entice him to adopt Varen as one of the dragonborn. And why did Varen want to be dragonborn? I tradition only the dragonborn can lay claim to the ruby throne and rule as the one true emperor by the divine okay. right. Baron conquered Cyrodiil and took the throne, but unless he became Dragonborn, he feared he'd always tell be me about born. tell me about Manamarco. The, 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 the great <laughs> enemy, the most powerful necromancer this world has ever known. Okay, and what happened when they performed the ritual? Disaster, war, and pestilence. Okay, goodbye. Witness the five companions in action. Do I follow you? Or do I? Nope. They've gone, have they? Uh, head this way. Oop. There it is. Hmm? The dragon fire bridge. Oh hi. Manny Marco. Oop. Excuse me. <laughs> it will work, my liege. Let's the go stand next to the prophet. Will rekindle the dragon fires and ensure your rightful place as emperor. I'm pretty you sure I had subtitles turned on. It better work, Manny Marco. Better. Or you'll find your neck at the business end of my axe. Mm -hmm. My well, axe. I wonder if you'd muzzle your half giant pet. She really is annoying. She is too. Enough, both of you. We are here to ensure my lord's rightful claim to the ruby throne. Abner, begin the ritual. I have a destiny to fulfill. So that's fair and Aquilos. By the light Abner. of the dragon fires, I claim my rightful lineage. So, so where is um, mini mini Marco? By the will of Akatosh, I proclaim myself Dragonborn. Mm -hmm. Hmm? 
How's that working out for you? Ooh, hello. Baron Aquilarius, you are no heir to Alessia. You will pay for your sacrilege. Oh dear. The veil between Tamriel and Oblivion tears and splits asunder. What's happening? The sky is opening up. This oh is bad. This is very bad. Ah! <laughs> we don't like bad things. This isn't supposed to happen. What's the meaning of this? Maybe Marco, oh. what have you done? Come on, fools. The veil between Oblivion and this world has been torn. My master, Moloch Baal, is free to claim Tamriel for his own. Never mind. Right. Mm. Have mercy on our souls! <laughs> and whose souls? Oh, hello. Okay, talk to the prophet. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Talk. The ritual tore the veil between Nairn and Oblivion. Oblivion. Stealing the souls is master needed. What went wrong? Akatosh gave Alessia the Amulet of Kings as a symbol of his covenant with Nan. So long as the amulet remained in the care of Alessia's heirs and the dragon fires remained lit, Tamriel would be protected okay. from the danger. Okay, and what happened next? Manamako tricked Varen into breaking the covenant, and the veil between Oblivion and Nan was torn. The Elder Scrolls named this event the Soul Burst. It gave Molog Baal the opportunity to disconnect the souls of Nan from their hosts. Molog Baal. What happened to the other companions? Varan was lost. In the chaos of the moment, Sai Sahan took the Amulet of Kings and fled. Leris was captured by Menamarko and delivered to Cold Harbor, the realm of Molog Okay, and what about Abnathan and Menamarko? Thaan remains Chancellor of the Elder Council, and his daughter Tribio rules as Empress Regent. But the true power remains in the hands of Manimarco and his worm cult. And how did you end up in Cold Harbor? When I discovered the truth about the five companions, I made subtle inquiries, but apparently not subtle enough. Manimarco got word of my interests and abducted me. He took me to Cold Harbor, where I remained a prisoner until okay, you they saw me. you as a threat. Truth is always a threat to evil men. Walk me. Goodbye. Manimarco. Huh. Follow the prophet. Long ago it was written, so long as the amulet of kings was borne by Alessia's heirs, Tamriel would be protected from the forces of oblivion. But the soul burst tore the veil between worlds and gave Molog Baal the opportunity he desired. Molog Baal's dark anchors pierced the torn veil and seemed to draw near into the depths of Cold Harbor. These terrible anchors Throughout Tamriel. Is it aliens? Can you see that thing over there? <laughs> it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good, my friend. Are you sure you want to go there? Hmm. If the Lord of Brutality and Domination is successful, Mm -hmm. He would merge our world and his own in a terrible plane bill. Wow, I wasn't expecting all this, by the way. Deal, and those that do will be enslaved for all eternity. Okay, talk to the Prophet. Return to the harbour bridge. So it falls to us. Yes, I'm ready to go back. As you say. Goodbye. Ah, uh, butterflies. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> talk to the Prophet. And so it begins. Mm -hmm. The remainder of the story has yet to be written. It is your story now. Well, you've given me an awful lot to think about. And there is so much to do. But know this. You will not walk this path alone. So what's our next move? We must grow in strength and in numbers. You will need more than the company of an old blind man to alter the course of history. Mm -hmm. We must assemble our own group of companions. The first... You have already met. Lyris Titanborn. Lyris sacrificed her own freedom to allow us to escape. She remains a prisoner in Cold Harbor. Mm. I must determine her precise location if we are to mount a rescue. That will take time. Okay, and so what shall I do in the in meantime? Marco's agents leave a web of lies and deceit. Right, I'll do what I can. Forgive me. Ooh. Bringing you to my mind seems to have taken Very nice. a toll on me. Complete quest. And we get a school point. Uh, a school point? Mm -hmm. Got three three skill points. Okay, I need to have a look at that because I don't want to do it without checking the book. But um, I will, however, uh, equip this. 
Um, e. There we go. Ding. Perfect. All right, and I think that will do for now. I seem to have stumbled across uh, <laughs> the the storyline thing that I wasn't really quite expecting such a long thing from My Michael Gambon here, but we'll see, and I will head on out, and we will um, carry on. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. I hope you're enjoying this series. I'm getting back into it, as I've said. Uh, be nice to each other. Take care. Tatty bye.